In the past, I have covered this COG VLM family of models and I have always found out that they were a bit hard to run on commodity hardware. But as long as you have powerful GPUs, at least more than 40 GPU of VRAM, they were a treat to run. Unfortunately, I don't have the 40 GB VRAM GPU at the moment, but at least I can tell you what exactly this new version of COG VLM is. And then we will also check out one of the free demos on the web where we will upload an image and then we will try to check it out. So as you might have guessed by now, it's a vision language model. What it means is that it can understand images and you can ask or chat with those images. COG VLM is a powerful open source visual language foundation model. It is quite different from the popular shallow alignment method which maps image features into the input space of language model because COG VLM bridges a gap between the frozen pre-trained language model and image encoder by a trainable visual expert module in the attention and FFN layer. Same attributes were present in the previous uh, version and same attributes are present in this new version but with a good twist as it is also based on LAMA3 model. We have already covered this Meta's LAMA3 in detail in heaps of videos. Meta LAMA3 is a collection of pre-trained and instruction-tuned generative text model in 8 billion and 70 billion sizes. The LAMA3 instruction-tuned models are optimized for dialogue use cases and outperform many of the available open source chat models on common industry benchmarks. So that is why when I saw this COG VLM 2 series of model, I was quite excited because it's a new generation of COG VLM and also it's built with Meta Lama 3 8 billion instruct. Also, if you compare it with the previous generation of COG VLM open source models, this series, the two have the improvement such as it has performed really well on text VQA and doc VQA. Also, it supports 8000 context length plus it su supports image resolution up to 1344 by 1344 which is quite good. Also it provides an open source model version that supports both Chinese and English. Also this model is released under, under the COG VLM2 license which is a bit surprised because it is based on LAMA3 so I thought maybe it would follow the LAMA3 license but it seems it has its own license so if you are lo looking to use it commercially I would highly suggest you look at its um, COG VLM2 license which is present on their Hugging Face page. Other than that um, what I have read through the license still there is an open access with commercial used allowed but still I would highly suggest you do your own due diligence. Now let's go to the hugging face space of this model where we will play around with it and see how it performs. So this is a URL which you can access from their hugging face page or model page. And then once you come here, you can see that it is both in English and also in the Chinese one. So I already have selected the English one as I loaded it. And on the left hand side, we have top P, top K, output length and temperature. So temperature, uh, of course, you know, decides the randomness of the response. It is between 0 and 1. 1 means more creative. 0 means more deterministic. Whereas both top P and top K are the parameters that control the output of AI models. For example, top P is a probability threshold that determines the diversity of the output with lower values resulting in more focused and repetitive text and higher values leading to more varied and creative output. Whereas top K sets a hard limit on the number of most likely tokens to consider for generation with lower values resulting in more predictable text and higher values allowing for more diverse and unexpected output. And by adjusting these parameters, we can fine tune the model's output to balance, uh, to balance coherence, diversity, and creativity. So already you can see that it is in the mid, the temperature is quite high, 0 0.80. I will leave it at there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to select an image from my local system. And then we will try to talk with it. So I'm just uploading an image from my local system. 
let's see if i'm able to see that image i thought i could so let me also show you the image so this is the image i have uploaded where we have sunset scene with a tree inside there are three kangaroos which are hopping and then there are th uh, 15 birds which are flying at the top in a flock so let's see if this model is able to detect that so that is done now let me chat with it uh, i'll just first ask it describe the image let's see what it does okay so image is now here so where is the disk so it is running as you can see at the top right let's wait for it to come back seems like quite a heavy model as usual i think this is where cog vlm really needs to come up with a bit lighter model anyway so you see it says the image depicts a serene and picturesque scene of an australian outback amazing absolutely i'm not sure if it has um, given it australian outback due to kangaroos but see the sky is painted in warm hues of orange and yellow correct and then radiant sun setting behind a line of clouds that is also true and then to the left there is a solitary tree of course there is a solitary tree in the foreground three kangaroos are captured in mid motion wow look at that how good the model is while the other two seems to be in a playful or relaxed stance above the kangaroo a flock of birds is flying seen in a v formation you see it's a v formation their dark shapes adding to the dynamic movement of the scene the birds are set against a gradient of the sky the overall mode of the image is of one tranquility and natural beauty how good is that let's see it can if it can count the number of birds how many birds are there in the image let's see if it can count the there are 11 birds okay let's count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so there are 13 birds so it failed to count them but that is fine um let's try to uh, check out another by the way no model including gpt 40 was able to count the birds correctly if you have seen my previous videos anyway let's check out another video so there is another video which i have uploaded i'm just going to ask it describe this image so that we will also see the image this way there you go let's see what it does but all in all you can see that the responses of the model are very very high quality there you go it's an indoor setting so this is something really amazing that for the birds it detected the v formation in this one indoor setting and then likely during the colder months you see there is a snowy feeling outside and then lantern is there surrounded by a textured knitted blanket amazing suggesting a comfortable sitting area glimpse of frosty landscape amazing amazing this is amazing model so very very impressed by this model let me just try one last image and then we will call it a day and in this one i'm just going to give it one of my youtube and i'm going to ask it what is happening in the image and if there is a person in image if yes then who is he let's see let's see if model knows me there you go so it says the image appears to be a digital graphic or digital poster it features a man and then it says how to create synthetic data set so it can do the ocr which is amazing the man seems to be the presenting or explain the explain the content of the text who is the man let's see if i'm famous or not okay so it doesn't know about me that is fine but you can see that this model can do the OCR. It can also do a lot of other stuff. And it even detected the Microsoft logo there. Amazing. And then it, I think 99% of the time, this model was amazing. So really impressed by the model. 
i will drop the link to it in video description one quick thing it is just 19 billion of size i wish they would also release a 7 billion one so that we could also try installing it locally but i think still amazing amazing model let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching